Oh, the bugs. You and I are like both digging. The bugs, the bugs. Fall. Hey everybody, here we are out at uh, Antelope Island here on the Great Salt Lake in Salt Lake City, Utah. Enjoying the uh, beautiful weather and our last few days here in Utah. Yeah, it's a little, little humid, a little cloudy and overcast, but we're hoping to catch a really cool looking sunset here in a little bit. If it was smell a vision you could smell the humidity and the bugs yeah. and everything else, but it's beautiful out here, it really and, is. And the, the lake mud. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we're going to keep driving around for a little bit, check it out, and then once the uh, sun starts to go down, you know, the sun doesn't start going down here until almost 9 o'clock, so. All right, let's get on. Hope you enjoy it. Alrighty, we just drove around Antelope Island for a good 45 minutes to an hour. Views are incredible. This place, the Antelope Island is a state park. It encompasses about 42 square miles. And so far we've seen bison. We've seen, did we decide with those deer or elk? They look like mule deer. Look like deer out there. We've got some great views of different angles of the Great Salt Lake. Um, and now we're sitting here on the beach, you know, a beach. <laughs> and waiting for the sunset. Antelope Island, it's an actual Utah State Park, so if you guys come here, it's $15 to get in, but then you're just driving around looking at all the wildlife and everything else. We actually have a campground here too, which we went and looked at. Yes, we drove around a campground. Looks like it's just power and water and a dump station, and I think we all agree the dump station looked brand new. <laughs> they have little houses. Yeah, and there's bathhouses, so if you're worried about the waste, you can always just use one of the shower houses. This place is awesome. Like I said, I can't believe we've never been here before. So we're going to kick back and wait for the sunset, and we're going to share that with you, and we'll talk to you guys a little bit. You guys are going to see an awesome sunset, we hope, depending on the clouds. If Kevin lets us get out of the way of the camera, I move! Valley View RV Resort, Layton, Utah. It's it's a beautiful place. It's brand new. Apparently it just opened in October. Uh, we were actually the first ones, according to them, <laughs> to reserve a spot at the RV at the RV park. So it was kind of neat when we were checking in. They told us, hey, you guys are the first ones to ever reserve. So that was kind of neat. We got really nice um, pull throughs, uh, which made it real simple. They were pretty big. Uh, it was nice. Nice spots. You just have to remember that they're um, not level if you go there. Yes. So um, they go this way. So, but yes. other than that, I mean, I mean, they probably need it for the snow when it snows there. They were large concrete pads, 50 amp, full water hookup, uh, sewer, everything else. Um, lots of grass in between each spot. Uh, our spots were side by side and we probably had about 10 feet of grass in between. Oh, at least. You could really tell it was designed by RVers because on the entry and the exits of the uh, concrete pads, they had nothing sticking out, no obstructions, no bushes. Clubhouse is all brand new. Uh, apparently that just opened a few months ago, right before the summer season. And they've got pool tables, ping pongs, uh, exercise room. The store, I would say it was pretty well stocked. It had a lot of apparel and stuff right. for that that spot, a yeah. little, little pricey. And they actually but, had fountain drinks in there too, that you yeah. could get by fountain drinks if you wanted to. Yeah, and then get Maybe refills with your cups. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, bags of ice, everything everything available in there. The pool jacuzzi area was all new, it was great. Uh, decent sized pool, uh, decent sized jacuzzi. Um, I think the jacuzzi said it held like six people, but it was, it was pretty good. It was always busy at night because of the weather and everything else. They had a pickleball court. I only saw two different times in three weeks people playing pickleball, probably because it was in the upper 90s yeah. in Utah. They had a nice dog park. 
Oh, it was yeah? not fenced though, so just know that. Mm -hmm. There's no fencing around it. We did ask if they were going to fence it in eventually because a lot of the things they were still kind of doing, and they said no. They were going to keep it open. So just something to know. The laundry room was really nice. There's actually two of them on the property, which was, which is nice. Right? Mm -hmm. You don't have to like call your stuff all the way. There's like one in the middle and then one by the office. Yeah, yeah. so everything was sparkling clean. And, and the, sh the multiple shower rooms that they have there too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, so, and all the bathrooms, all the bathrooms are nice and by the pool and all that. We saw lots of people caddying to take showers and yeah. stuff. So, and so It would have been really nice to give you guys a great overhead drone shot of the RV park because it's so new and spread out and beautiful. However, Park is actually in the flight path of Hill Air Force Base and boy did we get a show every Lit single day. Literally in the flight path. Nine yeah. o'clock sharp. Yep. <laughs> Except unless something was going yeah, on. Unless something was going on. Yeah. We got some amazing views of some awesome aircraft flying overhead. Every morning it seemed like they took off and then every afternoon they came back and landed. They were practicing touch and goes and it's loud. Don't get me wrong. It's, but I don't think any of us complain. No. no. It's always a sign it's freedom. of freedom. Yep. Yep. You know, it's so they, cool. Yeah, they were the F-35s were flying out of there, and they had a couple other guest airplanes going in and out, but we saw a lot of C-130s, mm -hmm. uh, KC-135 fuel tankers. And it was actually one of our first days there, a C-5 came in. And if you've never seen a C-5 coming in, landing in, in that low, it's quite amazing largest cargo plane i believe in our u.s arsenal it, it was it was just amazing with yeah. the aircraft yeah it was it was a sight to see and every time because you could hear them revving up on the runway because we were literally like a mile away so you could hear them on the runways and you would see everybody coming out of their rvs and standing out there with their phones and recording and everything else it was it was something else so one day we actually went over to hill air force base and checked out the aerospace museum that's really cool. there on the property nice great big uh, museum. This place is incredible. Seeing all the old Air Force planes, See the bombers, the refuelers, the cargoes. It's awesome. They've got them all outside and it's free. Cool, cool, cool. Piece of history right here. Pretty incredible, huh? Very cool. Now we're going to head inside and see what's in there. It's getting a little warm out here, so I'm glad there's an inside section at this museum. So we are in the first hangar of the indoor exhibit here at the Hill Aerospace Museum. This one seems to have all of the old planes. Yeah, and it aircraft. reminds me of uh, MASH. They have, but it's really cool to see. I Absolutely. Guess I'd be like the Korean War. Yes. We have to cut through in a little outside walkway because it can some construction and then go into another hangar, which apparently has all of the newer aircraft. So now we're walking to the second hangar. So there's a lot of construction going on. As you can kind of see, the planes are still wrapped up. Looking forward to seeing what this one is. So now we're in the next hangar. Yeah, it's bigger. Yes, and you can tell already there's a lot newer style aircrafts in here. I 
say I love the black plane. It looks really cool. Base Aerospace Museum. Lots of good aircraft, lots of good exhibits. Uh, right now, here in the middle of August, it's under construction. Yeah. Um, I will tell you, it's a little warm inside. Not as bad but as it is doable. outside. It's very doable. Yeah, it's doable. Um, they don't let you bring in any food or drinks or anything. They don't even sell water, so hydrate up before you come. <laughs> it is free of charge, which is nice. Yes. Uh, they have a lot of, like, on top of just the aircraft history, there's a lot of Utah history, so yes. which is kind of cool that they bring it back into their own state. Right. I mean, Hill Air Force Base apparently has been in operation since the late 40s. So this, this base has been around for a long time. And if you go around and you read all the little placards, it was very instrumental in a lot of the wars and a lot of the uh, developmental stuff with the uh, aircraft and stuff. So it was fun. Yeah, it, it, was, was, a, it was very cool. Highly recommend if you're up in the Salt Lake area, and you have, you have a few hours to kill, come on up and check it out. We are in Huntsville, Utah, about 25 miles north of Layton, where we're staying. And it's a cool little town, and we are gonna be heading over to the Shooting Star Saloon, which has been in operation continuously since 1879. The saloon comes highly recommended by a friend of mine who's uh, who works out here, and said the hamburgers and the lunches are great so we're gonna go check it out let's go let's eat. go let's go eat <laughs> <laughs> We had a great lunch at the Shooting Star Saloon. Awesome burgers. Really, really good burgers. Cold beer. I'm driving. I had a cold beer. Diane, right there's Diane had a cold beer. That's all they serve is burgers, beers, and sodas. Oh, and one hot dog. And one hot dog. And chips. And some chips. We got a bag of Lay's with our, with our meal too, but it was good. Prices were amazing. Larika and I got cheeseburgers, I got a beer, she got a Coke, and I bought two t-shirts, and the whole bill was 50 bucks. Chris and Diane's whole meal was only 25 total. And he had the big, he had the expensive burger. I think it was only like $9. But it's a great place, if you're ever in the area, stop by, check it out. Because the, the saloon itself is very tiny. Well, actually, it could have been tinier, so it's like, not, but it's small if you're having a ton of people. And no kids, no babies. Oh yes, that is a big 21 one. Twenty-one to get in there. Twenty-one, and it says right on the door. And no children, no babies. Oh yes, cash only. Oh, yes, cash only. Yeah. <laughs> it's a bar. It's not a restaurant. It's literally beer and like some of those little seltzer things that people drink. The really pretty houses and beautiful hills to get here. Yeah. It's a really, it's a pretty drive. Yeah. I mean, you could do it. It is right by the lake. But I'd imagine on Saturdays and Sunday it's very busy. So it's worth it. But this whole town seems like it's half a block from the restaurant over to the park over here. That's pretty much it. But it's awesome. Oh my god, really? <laughs> 
<laughs> this is what happens when you're a YouTuber, Diane. We rented paddle boards and kayaks from a local company, uh, friends of my brother-in-law, Josh. So we've got them all loaded up into the truck. Chris has a few in his truck. Josh and Morgan have a couple in there, in their vehicle. We will have some fun. Well, good morning, everybody. We're here on Kazi Reservoir in Huntsville, Utah. And we're getting ready to go do a uh, kayak slash paddleboard day. It's beautiful out here. Very overcast today. It rained all, all morning. But it's nice. Hello, everyone. We are on the lake. Uh, Kasi. Kasi, Kasi Lake. Reservoir. Was it Reservoir Beach or whatever? Yeah. Um, beautiful. Kevin's in a kayak. I'm on the paddle board. We we'll switch to... later. We'll switch later. Yeah, when we're ready to get wet and stuff. But um, I... We wanted to do one of each because we're not sure what we like. We both have kayaked before um, at La Jolla, um, so we wanted to see what the paddle boarding is all about. It's pretty fun once you get into the rhythm. These paddle boards, from what I'm told, my niece told me, they're pretty sturdy. Right. So, um, they're, the yeah. plastic, they're the plastic ones. Yeah, yeah, so it's good. We just rented them. But anyway, beautiful day. We weren't sure it kind of rained all night, so we were like, what is the weather going to be like? But it's beautiful. It's a little overcast. Um, I think the sun is supposed to come out a little bit more, um, but it's beautiful. Just, yeah. just kicking it down the... Our last day in Utah. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow's a road tripping day. Um, road tripping day. We're excited to get going, but sad to leave. Uh, we've really enjoyed our stay here in Utah, and it's been amazing seeing family and just everything that Utah has to offer. So if you haven't been to Utah, you should go. Yep. Try all different things. They have lots to offer and, and beautiful weather. So This lake's about 15 minutes past... Pineview Reservoir, which is where we were on the boat with Larika's brother in a you know, previous episode. So it's up in the same area. Beautiful drive to get here. Beautiful country. Yeah. We're going to enjoy the rest of the day. We'll take you along. How's retirement? Tris? It sucks. <laughs> it really sucks. I don't All this fun and floating down this beautiful lake and these kayaks. Yeah, it really sucks. Retirement. Highly recommend retirement to anybody I out do. there. And then once you retire, go on a road trip. Yeah, really. Just take off. Hit the road. Yep. Do things you haven't done. Don't forget, location may change, but the road trip never, never ends. ends. <laughs> Took a little pit stop for lunch. I brought leftover pizza. Hey, it's easy. I'm kind of eat it on the fly. So if we were to decide to get get some boards and take carry them with us what are you leaning towards right now i like the paddle board but i like that you can put stuff in the kayak yeah so and if we got tired of sitting we can just get in the water usually All i right. like to get in the water anyway wherever i'm at so i like the advantages of putting things on the kayak yes i am the versus the paddle board but the paddle board is fun i'm yeah. glad i tried it hmm. Yeah, I am the the keeper of the stuff. Stuff. I've got a couple coolers, shoes, or water, everything. I think I would lean towards kayak, maybe an inflatable one because this would never fit in the RV. I saw a couple people go buy us an inflatable kayaks. Tell us down below. What do you guys think? Inflatable paddle boards, inflatable kayaks. Tell us down below and let us know and give us some ideas. What do you think we should do? Paddle boards or kayaks? I know it was a great RV park. I mean, honestly, with her brother living 15 minutes away from there, next time we go to visit him, I would definitely stay there again, yeah. without question. Because you're only about, what was it, about 35 minutes from the Huntsville area, yeah. where right now you got all the lakes, <laughs> and once it starts snowing, it's all, all the mountains. ski areas <laughs> and mountains. I guess a lot of the locals go skiing there and avoid the the park city areas and stuff because it's a lot cheaper so you're right there in the heart of everything you're 20 minutes from salt lake city about 35 40 minutes from the airport so you're right there just north of salt lake you know less than an hour drive from pretty much anything you want to do as and far there's as activity a lot to do there yes all right guys hey if you haven't already do us a favor subscribe to our channel hit that little bell you'll get notified when we uh when we put out new videos and we just love sharing this full-time rv life with you <laughs> All right, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.